Hey, Yogis and Yogis. So I wanted to share another twist with you that's really good for releasing the muscles of the back, for stretching and strengthening the muscles of our belly, core. Also really good for detoxifying. So twist, squeeze your ascending and descending colon, and that can be really good for releasing the toxins. So make sure that you always drink a lot of water after practicing yoga, but especially if you've been doing any strong twists flush those toxins out. Now depending on how tight you are in your back or in your chest or shoulders, you may not be able to get into this full twist. And there are modifications I can give you. So I'm going to try to give you the sort of standard twist and then I'll give you modifications to make it easier and also um, an option for those of you who are more open as well. So I'm going to start this by lying. You're going to stretch your arms straight out from your shoulders in a T with your palms up. And then just take a moment to hug your knees in towards your chest, giving your lower back a little stretch. Then keeping the knees nice and close to you, releasing the arms again. So we're going to go ahead and I'll do the um, traditional one first, and then I'll give you the modifications. So keeping your ankles and your feet together, and if you can, you also want to keep the knees squeezing together. That's going to be a little more work for the belly. You're going to slowly, on an exhale, let your legs come over to the side. Just letting the legs rest on the floor. Try to keep your head centered here. There's usually enough twist going on with the spine that we don't need to add the head twisting in here as well. If you were um, more flat on the flexible side, and this actually felt quite easy for you, you can start to stretch your legs out straight. So you can extend the legs, reaching them up towards your fingers, and really lengthening out through that top leg, trying to keep the feet as even as you can, which takes time and practice. So that's an option for those of you who have that flexibility. If when you do this on the floor, then this isn't a good option for you. You want your hand at the very least to be on the floor here. So you can, if that's the case, then you want to bend the knees here and just practice here first. To come out of this, you're going to keep your ankles and feet together, and again on an exhale, lift back up to center. And pause here for a breath. So on the other side, I'll show you some modifications. So if you are bringing your legs over, again, on an exhale, and when you do that, either your legs won't reach the floor, then you can take some support. You can take a couple of blocks, or a blanket, or a bolster, and just rest your legs on those so that you're decreasing the, the stretch a little bit. So that's a common issue. And another problem that tends to happen with people is that when they do bring their legs down, then the back arm starts to lift, and this can cause a really extreme stretch in the chest and the shoulder. Now, feeling a gentle stretch through the chest and the shoulder, if your palm is down, if your hand is down on the floor, is actually normal, and it's one of the benefits here of this pose. But if you're getting an extreme stretch, or if the hand can't stay down, then I can put some support underneath the legs so that you're not coming as deep, or you can bring your hand to your hip, and then draw your elbow and your shoulder towards the floor, just softening them. Stretch through the chest and the shoulder. Some people find that actually just bringing the hand a little bit lower will soften them enough that they can work here. Or perhaps you can bring your arms into cowboy surrender for some bodies. This will actually feel more comfortable here. So, Come out again, you're going to keep your ankles and feet together and also your knees if you can. Exhale and lift the legs up to center. And then just bring your feet to the floor. Take a couple of moments here just resting before you roll yourself all the way over to your right side. Use your hand to push yourself up to having a seat. So that's a lying twist or called stomach revolved posture. And again, it can be a bit of a strong twist for those of you who um, maybe are tighter in the back. So feel free to take those modifications if you need to, if you need to put something underneath your legs or bring your hand to your hip. And for those of you who are quite open, you may be able to extend the legs out straight. 
So I hope that you found that helpful. If you are watching this on YouTube, take a moment to uh, give me the thumbs up below and leave me a comment and hit the yellow subscription button. If you're watching this on my Facebook and you'd like to add a comment or a request, you can comment below the video. If you want to add a video request, click the discussions tab and leave me um, a posture that you maybe want to go over. If you have a spot that is constantly tight or sore on you, let me know and I can do some videos for that. Thank you. Namaste.